What's up everyone, I want to make a quick little video here to explain the new TTK simulation tool on true game data. I covered this a little bit in the long range meta video and how I think this is going to be in combination with Metagen, this is going to be the most powerful tool for helping you find what is best for you specifically, which is the whole point of true game data. Find your meta, not find whatever meta the YouTuber that you watched their video said. Uh, and I mean, even even me, I'm including in that. Like, I don't want you to just use what I use. I want you to use what is best for you. And that's what the point of this tool and Metagen both uh, were. So how this works, um, it's on the normal TGD page. You can scroll down. It's a premium feature. So normal TGK charts are right here. And you can plot those just like normal. But then if you go up to the top and hit this little switch to go to true TTK simulation, that'll take you to this new... Uh, new page here You can select if you want TTK DPS or DPM just like always select the health of your target um, A new option on here is the X start and X end of the graph so you can kind of shrink it in and just see From X equals 20 up to X equals 60 or something like that This is also really just designed for long range right now. I'm gonna give it some thought and see if it makes sense for maybe sniper support and maybe SMGs as well, but for the for now I, I just want you to use it for long range so how this works is you can go into the firing range in game. I'll show you the methods for that in a second. Pull your percentage accuracy out, shooting the furthest back target. Plug those into each one of these little boxes here. So you can see each gun in my comparison has a box um, for a percentage. That's percentage accuracy. And then all you have to do is press simulate. So before I do that, let's show you how to actually do the testing. So how I would do this is take your top five Benagen weapons that it spit out for you to use. And then just build those out in game. So we're going to go to the game now. Take those builds that Metagen gave you, go in game, and then just hop into the firing range. Be sure to set your dummy to three plates. We want the most health possible. People mentioned that this damage isn't the same as in Warzone, and that is true. As far as we're aware, it seems like stuff is weird and different in the firing range. But that's not the point. The point is just to get accuracy, so it doesn't matter how much damage the weapons are doing. So make sure you're set to three plates. Come in the firing range. First thing you need to do is step up into one of these zones. We're going to go for zone one, and you'll see... The accuracy pops up in the top left, so that is the measure of how many shots you hit divided by your total shots that you fired. Um, and be sure not to shoot any before you start your test. If you start up here and shoot, you'll notice that there's tons of muzzle smoke. makes it really hard to see your target when you're shooting. But if you step to the back, you're going to notice that there's much less muzzle smoke, much, much easier to see your target. So I would recommend standing back here to test. Now, because I just took some shots, if I hit one of these dummies, you're going to see that my accuracy is only 10%. So it counts every shot that you shoot in the firing range after you load in. So in order to cancel that out, I'm going to leave and then come back. So if I walk up here again, accuracy will pop back up. I'm going to go to my little corner. This is my favorite spot, all the way on the back wall against this uh, little cabinet here. That just gives me a consistent, repeatable testing spot. That is the most important thing to do when you're using this tool, is to be consistent between every weapon. You have to do it the same way. You have to use the same methods, the same logic. So even if you want to do some like movement testing, which I didn't build it for that, but you can actually just use it for that if you wanted. So like, you know, testing strafing, how many shots you hit strafing, things like that. That's fine. As long as you do it the same way with every single weapon and just make sure everything is consistent. So the method I would recommend, like I said, is standing in this corner, ADS at the target, get ready, and then just shoot until the target goes down. And react as fast as you can and don't try to predict when the target's going to go down because it does count those shots after the target goes down as misses. So we again, we just want it to be consistent. It's not a big deal that the percentage goes down a little bit so long as all the weapons are affected the same way. So don't try to predict when the target goes down. Just shoot it until it goes down and you know it's down and then stop shooting. That will be consistent across all the weapons then. And someone mentioned that high fire rate weapons are going to be at a disadvantage because of those misses after the shot goes or the target goes down. That's not really true. It's, a, it's maybe a tiny, tiny bit true, but again, it's such a small amount. Basically, the slower firing weapons are going to have less shots to kill, and then they're also going to have less shots that are missed after the target goes down compared to a high fire rate weapon, which is going to have more hits, but also a little bit more misses after the target goes down. So it kind of it balances itself out. Even if you have a high fire rate weapon, it should affect the percentages just about the same as a low fire rate weapon. So that's not, so, not something to be scared of there. Um, so basically, I would just repeat that trial. Just You don't have to load out of the firing range and back in. You can just keep going. So it says target hits one. I would recommend doing 10 trials. So just keep doing this. 
10 times and that percentage that you see is the cumulative sum of all the shots that you took while you were in the firing range so two targets hit 40 percent. i don't need to record the percentage after every target goes down all i need to do is shoot this target 10 times get my accuracy and then you can do it as many times as you want the more that you do the better the result will be the more trials of taking the target down the better your actual accuracy will be compared to how you actually can control the weapons so you can see i started at you know 38 percent, but i'm starting to learn the recoil as i'm firing it here learning how to control it and my percentage is going up a little bit that's why i think at least 10 is good um five is okay but really 10 plus is the best you can do as many as you want i did about 10 to 11 weapons in like 20 minutes doing this so building the weapons testing 10 trials and recording the accuracy percentages took me about 20 minutes so it's like the length of one of my meta videos you can get by far the best ttk charts we've ever had so i'm going to stop there and go over to my spreadsheet where i have my percentages we're going to input input those into tgd and then show you guys how this works all right so these were my accuracy percentages again this took about 20 minutes i did 10 trials each with a meta build fully tuned everything using the exact same testing methodology sending that back corner um, just doing everything as consistent as possible is the most important uh, part of all of this. So we're, we're going to take these percentages over to True Game Data now. So I'll go to TGD. I'm going to drag these accuracies off so you guys can't see them. And then we'll go to Comparison Tool. I only have a few of the weapons on here, but we're going to go down to the TTK chart. I'm actually going to turn off my dark mode. Go to the true TTK simulation, and now I have, all I have to do is input those accuracies. So 65.5 with the TAC 56, 59.5 with the Tempest Razorback, 55.7 with the M13B, 43.7 with the Rap H, 38.7 with the Lockman on auto, 49 with the HCR, and then 65. Point five with the cast of 545 so i've got those entered now all i have to do is press simulate i want ttk i do want to inc include bullet travel time and open bolt delay none of these guns have that but want to include it in case they have it and then i just push press simulate it'll take a second it uh there's a lot of calculations involved in this so that's why it takes uh longer than the normal ttk chart and then what we get is an interesting looking time to kill chart this is the simulation results here so at all ranges basically how it works just a brief overview is the target in the firing range is about 55 meters so i measured the hitbox of the target and where hits are counted on there and i can take your accuracy and I, of course there's assumptions in this i'm not trying to claim this is perfect this is not perfect but this is so much better than just a default ttk chart because it gives you a little bit of insight into how your actual performance with the build you know impacts that time to kill so anyway it looks at the the hitbox and the percentage of shots hit and it calculates uh, basically an X and Y normal distribution and creates a thousand bullets that would be matching that percent accuracy that you shot and then it converts that over to a real hitbox so I went in game and I measured a real hitbox of someone aiming at you and it converts what your your accuracy on the dummy to the accuracy on a real hitbox of a player with the different hitbox locations upper leg lower leg upper arm lower arm head neck chest stomach all those different shot locations are included uh, and then it basically just takes that distribution of points and scales them based on how far you would be from the target. And it can tell you exactly how many shots hit each shot location. And from that, I can calculate a true TTK based on um, the amount of damage that is done uh, across the bullets. So it's pretty cool. It's not perfect. I'm not trying to claim it's perfect. Just like Metagen, Metagen is not perfect. Basically, these are all just tools to help you get closer and closer to understanding what you should be using. And I think Metagen plus this tool, we are so much closer than ever to truly knowing what we should use. So anyway, I'll get back to this. It's pretty messy. You can see that a lot of the weapons end up very close. So what I'm going to do is change the X start to basically where I would want a long range weapon to excel. So like 20 meters up to, I'll say 70, 70 meters. So this is going to scale a chart to 20 to 70 meters. And again, from 20 up to 40, there, it's just a mess. Everything's kind of in the same zone, which is probably how they designed it. They wanted it to be this way. Um, some of the best performers through that mess, I would say, would be the the Lockman 7.62 on auto. Even with 38.7% accuracy at 55 meters, my accuracy is going to be a lot better. So that's why it actually comes out pretty good because it has a great theoretical time to kill. So even though the accuracy is terrible, 
when I'm up close, it is going to be a pretty good option. So you can see that yellow line in there. If I toggle it on and off, it's pretty good, pretty fast. Um, the only time we start to see a real outlier is out towards about 40 meters. So from about 40 meters and on, uh, you might even be able to say like 34 meters. My TAC-56, the red line, TAC-56 was tied for first accuracy for me. So cast off 545 and TAC-56 were about the same. Um, but the way the bullet travel time from the bullet velocity difference between these two and just the TTK, how the damage values line up, um, you can see that anywhere past about 30 meters, that red line for me is consistently the fastest time to kill. So even though it has terrible time to kill on the regular chart, um, it's for me personally, it is the meta choice uh, for for a long range weapon. And that's just I just know that because it has the best time to kill here. And other stats are important too. Tech 56 obviously has um, it has probably some of the best bullet velocity of any of these in this comparison because my build has the long barrel and the suppressor. And then it also has a big magazine, 60 round mag. So there's other factors and Metagen includes all those factors. So Metagen already said TAC-56 was really good for me, but then this just confirms that the time to kill is fantastic. And someday I might be able to actually tie your specific percentages for each weapon into Metagen to give you like a true, true meta for you specifically. I would love to do that. It's a little tricky though. I need to see if base weapons with no attachments actually line up with how people fire the weapons with attachments because if they do then i can just have you guys get your your base weapon percentages uh, and input that into metagen and it can use it for everything problem with this is these are based on full attachment builds and obviously you can't test every attachment combination for yourself to see what's best that's just not even possible there's literal hundreds of thousands if not millions of attachment combinations in this game so that's not possible but if we can estimate it with the base weapons that'd be really really cool but Anyway, long story short, this shows that for me, from 20 out to 70, TAC-56 is the choice, pretty much no doubt. Um, that's the power of this tool. It lets you use your actual true percentages to get real time to kill values. Um, and it's, I think it's the closest we've ever been to a tool that can truly tell you what you should be using for the long range meta.